How are you guys doing? Today we're going to go over how to do our jump back kicks. Before we get into our jump back kick, though, I'm going to quickly review how to do our regular back kick. So I'm about arms distance away. We're going to turn backwards. One, toes are backwards, upper body is backwards. Only your head moves. Don't twist your upper body. Look over your shoulder, kick straight back, and then down. So you want to control your upper body when you do your back kick. So watch one more time. I turn one, look over my shoulder, two. My toes are backwards, body's backwards, and I kick straight back and then down into my fighting stance. So be careful of your over rotation. That's one of the most common mistakes when you do our back kick. Going to our jump back kick now, it's just like our back kick, we're just adding a little bit of a hop, okay? The jump is kind of exaggeration. It's more of just a small hop. So again, that arm distance away, and first part stays the same, right? We're breaking it down to parts. This is a good way to start. So your toes are backwards, body's backwards. And when you're first, first learning this kick, a good way is just to get your footwork correct. So you could just work on getting your feet in, switching your feet first, in and out. And each time you switch, you're gonna start bringing your foot that's kicking, and you're gonna start bringing it up a little higher. And bring it up a little higher. Bring it up a little higher. Eventually, you're here in this position. Again, make sure your body stays still. Look over that shoulder, and you're kicking straight back. That's really good when we start learning how to do your jump back kick. It's just coming up one, body's backwards, two, look over your shoulder, and from here, just switch and kick straight back. And then down. Eventually, though, we need to get it into one motion, right? We want to be really quick with this jump back kick. So we're starting in our regular fighting stance. Instead of breaking into parts, instead of turning and stopping and then kicking, we're going to go right from here, and you're going to use your body to help twist and you go for that switch all in one motion. So when you go for real, you get straight back and then out. And then again, you reset. A few important things, you don't want to lean, right? You never want to take your head and go like this. So if you do that, your body's going in that direction. It's away from your kick. There's no power behind it, right? Second thing, most common, of course, is that over rotation. You don't want to spin around because now you're going to just slap against the target. You're not going to have any power either. So one more time, when we go into your jump back kick, right? You set your body up, make sure you're good distance. You wanna take your knees. You see I kind of just bend a little bit to help get that little hop. I'm using my upper body to twist. You don't need to go all the way like this. You don't need to make it into a huge exaggerated movement. Instead, you're here, you just come up, take straight back, and then out. Now, jump back kicks, very, very useful in sparring, right? It works if we're in a clinch, right? Your hands are to the side, your hands are in front. You could work on jumping up, and not just upwards, but a little bit backwards to get some distance. When you're in close, jump back, create distance, and then go into your jump back kick. Jump back kicks are also probably a little bit quicker coming up and right in your spot, going into your kick. So these are really effective kicks when we're working on our sparring drills. So good luck, and give it a shot.